Hello again everyone, I'm Larry Hamilton. Uh, welcome to my YouTube painting channel. Thank you for watching. I'm uh, glad to be back with you this uh, month. I missed uh, two months. Uh, last month I got very ill uh, unexpectedly uh, right around the time we were uh, supposed to have our painting session and I ended up in the hospital actually and uh, with a couple of bad viruses and uh, thought I had the flu but it turned out to be something much worse. I was in the hospital for five days so I missed both my oil painting uh, demonstration last month and my watercolor demonstration. So hopefully we'll make up for that a little bit uh, today. Um, this year I started out wanting to sort of have a theme uh, around each painting session. And last month I wanted to have a theme around a still life, which I didn't get to paint. This month I was going to do something uh, floral. So uh, I happened to find this nice uh, photograph by a fellow named Greg Lannon. And uh, it's uh, basically a floral still life. So I thought, well, let's just do both of them today and uh, we'll get a uh, still life done and we'll get a floral painting done. I hope you like it. I hope you stay tuned in. Um, so uh, let me, before I say anything else, let me go over to the, uh, back over to my computer and I'll show you what I did with the photograph. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so it won't take me too long to do that. So I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I'm at my computer now. Uh, I want to show you uh, my uh, photograph, my original photograph that I started with uh, was basically a square um, and uh, it's got a interesting reflections here uh, from the light that's uh, pointed onto the, the flower and uh, has a nice uh, reflection on the back wall and uh, so I wanted to try to capture that and since this was a still life and it uh, was a uh, floral painting I thought we'd try to do them both. So. Uh, um, here is how I cropped it down. It's hardly changed. Um, there's some sort of a bottle or something here in the back um, behind this, which I'll probably leave out. I'll probably just uh, make that sort of impressionistic and you won't know what it is back there. Um, and then also I have my grid, which uh, I usually put over my 4x5 grid, which fits my canvas nicely on a, in a 11 by 14 format. And uh, so I have my uh, um, this grid that I put over it which lays out nicely over the painting uh, over the photograph actually so that's what I use to help sketch it with um, in addition I do my value map which has an interesting uh, pattern today with black all around it pretty much and uh, some white highlights and then some mid values around the, uh, the flower and around the, uh, the back uh, reflection so that and then I have my sketch as usual which the sketch, the value map, and the original photo are on my website already, so uh, you can download those by clicking on the links below. And uh, hope maybe you've already done that. I had those uh, had that posted uh, earlier, about quarter till uh, one, so you had about 15 minutes to uh, to try that and uh, maybe get a sketch on your canvas if you're going to paint along with me. Um, if not, that's okay too. So uh, let me go back now to my computer or back to my easel rather. And uh, we'll go over the paints, we'll go over the brushes, and uh, we'll get painting this thing. Um, so here we are um, with my standard palette. Uh, you've seen this before. Um, this, this is uh, my Bob Ross um, paints, and I have a few brushes here. I have three, three Bob Ross uh, items here. I have a, a rigger, small script brush, I have a fan brush, and I have this... Uh, painting knife, which I may or may not use any of those. Uh, but I've been, lately I've been using more brushes from uh, Trekel, T-R-E-K-E-L-L.com. -L um, and I have a whole set here of, of flat brushes uh, from 16 down to six. I may not use all of those. I may uh, only use one or two, I don't know. Uh, but I have them available. And then I have a set of filberts here from Trekel as well, uh, 16 down to number four. Um, again, I uh, have them available, um, and if I need them, I'll try to use them. I also added here a couple of rounds. I have a number six and a number four. Sometimes in floral paintings, um, a round brush helps uh, to get some of the fine detail, maybe some of the, the, stem, the stamens, stamens or whatever they're called, and the, the little stems inside the, 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 uh, the flower and that sort of thing. So we'll see uh, how that works. Uh, I may need to use those. Okay, um, I have my paints. Um, I have, first of all, I have my plate with uh, some uh, Bob Ross liquid white on it, which I will use sparingly. I don't paint the whole canvas with liquid white like Bob Ross did. And I have some uh, 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 medium here from, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a uh, 
Winsor-Newton medium called Liquin, L-I-Q-U-I-N. So uh, the, the liquid white makes the paints dry slower. The Liquin makes the paints dry faster. Um, when I do a painting in a couple hours, I really don't need to, to dry it faster because it's all going to be wet on wet. But uh, I have that available. All right, let's go over the paints. Uh, you've heard me say this before. I have titanium white. These are all Bob Ross colors. T uh, titanium white, uh, phthalo blue, Prussian blue, midnight black, Van Dyke brown, dark sienna, alizarin crimson, sap green, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, Indian yellow, and bright red. And then I have added a Grumbacher color called the uh, uh, ultramarine violet. So that's my palette. And uh, that's what we'll be working with today. So uh, I want to uh, get started with this, with uh, doing some of the background uh, around this, this, this uh, flower. And it's going to be very dark. There's a lot of dark uh, colors in this, uh, uh, the background particularly. So I'm going to get a little bit of liquid just so I can get some paint flowing. I don't want to put my liquid white on here because it will affect the, uh, the amount of uh, dark color that I can get. So if I want to get some, some black and uh, some blue in it and some brown in it, get a really dark color here for the background, um, I'll be mixing these dark colors uh, along with some alizarin. Uh, to get some warmth in it. Uh, the blues will give me some cools. So uh, I'm just going to start up here on the right hand side and uh, we'll just start putting this in uh, very fast and very loose. Uh, the liquid helps that paint really move, flow, flow nicely over the uh, canvas. Uh, and uh, I don't have to have an underpainting here. I'm just going to write over to my canvas. Um, you also probably remember that my canvas is uh, covered in a, a gray gesso, which uh, uh, gives me a mid-tone value that I can uh, use to uh, determine uh, the relative value of my uh, different objects on the painting, whether it's a building or a flower or whatever. Um, uh, this um, mid-tone helps me see whether I'm lighter than mid-tone or darker than mid-tone. And uh, so let's just kind of paint around this flower here. Or that's not the flower, that's a leaf actually. Here's the flower right there. Okay, so we'll put that in um, using a lot of dark paint here. Black, brown, red, alizarin. Let's come down here. I'm using a flat uh, number 14 Trekel flat brush. These brushes are series 9100 if you're interested in purchasing any. Uh, I have some links on my website where you can get some discounts by putting in a code number and you can get a 25% off by using the code that I give you there. Um, if you're interested, I'm not uh, trying to make money off of this, but it is something that I thought since I'm using their brushes, I might as well uh, See if I can get a little sponsorship out of them, and they were nice enough to uh, do that with me. And so I'm uh, kind of pitching their brushes because I really like them. I use them all the time. I uh, kind of gotten totally away from Bob Ross brushes and other brushes, um, and um, just uh, using these Trickell brushes for my oil painting. And I'm also using them for some of my watercolor paintings as well. Um, okay. Um, Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I had my palette covering up my uh, this whole thing here. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now I'm. I uh, somebody should have yelled out at me on the my chat window here to tell me to put the painting on the on the video. Now I'll correct this when I uh, edit this video after uh, I get finished here. But the live. What you see going out live has to be managed by me because I'm the uh, cameraman, I'm the uh, producer, I'm the director, and uh, <laughs> you have to uh, do it all here when you're a one-man show. So uh, I uh, also want to uh, bring this in a little closer. I'm going to uh, set this up. Usually I do this. I haven't done this for two months, folks, so I'm uh, forgetting what I normally do with you here to... Uh, that you see what I'm doing get rusty. All right, there we go. So now you can see the palette. Now you can see the uh, 
the painting in its uh, current form. I didn't miss a whole lot. I just put a lot of dark um, on here for background. Uh, I'm going to start making it a little more reddish and orange here in a minute. All right, um, now let me see if I can get some orange color. I want to get this, uh, this British orange. I'm going to use some uh, my bright red and my uh, Indian yellow and see if I, what that looks like. That's getting more of a brownish color. I want to get it uh, get some more orange in there. So I'm uh, just using Whatever comes off my brush, here we go. I'm getting a little bit of that reddish color. Uh, so I want to just blend this together. I'm going to paint around also this uh, dark reflective color here, a reflective uh, reflection, I want to say. All right, there we go. Okay, um, hello from North Carolina. Hi, Gene Lee, hello. One man show, yeah, that's me. Uh, <laughs> yes, I uh, don't have anybody to help me here, so I have to uh, kind of do it all. But uh, I don't mind it. It's uh, a lot of fun, and uh, I enjoy the uh, kind of the complex nature of this. It's a technical thing from a, from my camera and that sort of uh, thing, and. Uh, it's artistic, so I'm using left brain, right brain, and sometimes I get them all mixed up here. And let's see here, let me go down. So I want to put a lot of this background in as much as I can here. Um, I want that color, it's not quite right yet, but um, I'll use what I got and see if I can lighten it up, redden it up. The color that was in the photograph, I don't have to duplicate it, but what I do have to do is make it uh, a lot lighter here so that it makes sure I have the, the darkness and the reflectivity of this uh, shadow that's falling on the wall back here. Um, so uh, that's, uh, let me try a little bit of this. This yellow is not going to make the right color of orange I don't think. Put some white in it see what I get. So I'm just mixing everything using the same brush. I haven't really changed brushes. I haven't cleaned this brush out. Uh, see what this looks like here. It's probably the wrong, it's still the wrong color. Um, let me see what my lizard may help me here. May not. Um, they got a wide range of colors here with the uh, these Bob Ross colors. Um, that's a little lighter, like I want it. Something like that. It's getting closer. So let me put that in here. And I can sort of blend it out and uh, help it look uh, lighter anyway. At least the wall needs to be lighter back there. So I'm painting around. Uh, flower petals here. Um, so when I get done I'm going to have this uh, all covered and the flower petals and the leaves are going to be what you see. Um, I'm going to get some more dark up here in this corner. So I'm going to bring it down. So I'm just switching back and forth keeping the brush uh, full of both of these colors and uh, getting some dark in there. If you have any questions, put them in the uh, chat window there, and I'll uh, see if I can answer them while we're while I'm painting. Uh, kind of enjoy the challenge of all of this to uh, um, keep the painting going, keep the chat going, keep the cameras going, and. It's sometimes my artistic line gets a uh, challenge. I have to think and talk and but I love it. And here we'll come back and put in a few more. Yeah this uh, virus I picked up last month is really 
really pretty threatening. I right? ended up in the hospital after one chest x-ray. The virus sort of acts like a, uh, sort of like pneumonia. And uh, that's the longest stay I've ever had in a hospital in my whole life. So I was really concerned about it. Um, but I've got my strength back now, able to do my painting and uh, I just hated I had to cancel last month's session because I really couldn't, can't really communicate easily with you. It's not like Facebook where I can send out a message and tell you all I'm not going to be uh, online live. It's, uh, you just have to kind of tune in and see that there's no live painting going on. I did try to put a, uh, a little uh, thing on the Facebook, not Facebook, on the YouTube uh, channel where you log in and uh, said something about I was sick or ill or something like that so there wouldn't be a demonstration last month but um, that's about all I could do so we're moving pretty good here this is really going uh, fairly quickly but I have a lot of detail to work out here. Um, so anyway, I've got uh, some interesting colors here, some interesting uh, values, trying to uh, blend these things together and Make it look like it's a wall there that we're reflecting light onto. Come back here and get a little more of my orangish color. I'm using all kinds of colors in this thing to try to achieve this orange be nice if I had some orange. Actually, I do have some orange in my palette, or um, I have a tube of cadmium orange, which probably would have helped me in this uh, particular painting. I didn't even think about putting it out. There we go. Up some dark color there, which I didn't mean to get. Let me see, that's a darker brown. Okay. Okay, so you see my uh, flower coming out here. I've got another dark area here. There's actually a uh, there's a table sitting under this, and there's a, a vase that this uh, flower is in. So uh, I guess Greg Lannon, who uh, is on the uh, he's on the photos for artists page of Facebook and uh, it's a place where I get a lot of photos because uh, the photo photographers put photos out there for us to freely use and uh, we don't have any copyright infringement issues um, we can just use them and sell them if we want and uh, there's not a problem so uh, I uh, really like using that and uh, some of the photographs out there are really pretty nice. Uh, let's see, up in here we've got a, some dark. Come around this way. All right.
get some uh, wipe some of this paint out of my brush I get uh, too much going on in there and I I want to make it uh, lighter here. Okay, back to some dark here in the top or left corner. I want to darken that down just a little more. I've got a lot of blending going on here with the uh, brush since I'm not really washing it out that much. I wiped it out just a second ago, but um, I can get this nice uh, blended effect. I pull some of the lighter colors into the dark and darker colors into the light. Um, and Check my uh, check my computer. I have a computer up here by my uh, left elbow that uh, I can follow your chat or questions. If you ask me anything, I can uh, try to answer it. Have any of you caught the flu this year? That's a good question. I. Uh, Thought I had it once and started treating for it, and it turns out that wasn't it. There's a lot of that flu going around, at least here in the States. I think it's about over with now, maybe. All right. Um, so I don't have it all the same color. I got a little bit lighter on the left side than I have in this upper right corner up here. Um, and uh, I still think this needs to be a little darker here. I want that corner to be almost as dark as the right corner, but I want it to fade and uh, give me some Okay, so that's uh, I'll try to see if I can do a little blending here with this brush, maybe. A dry brush, it's another flat, but it's, I don't have any paint on it. I'm just sort of trying to blend this out so we can see the gradual change in the color of this background. I pick up that color and pull it back in there, which I don't like there. Okay. E. Take that color and you pull it out. So let's just pull it out like this. As I pull it away, I have to go back to my paper towel and, and uh, wipe off the paint that gets on there so that I don't pull the dark paint back into the uh, lighter value. So when I come this way and try to do this, I'm going to wipe the brush like that. Oops, I just did it again. Pulled the dark color back in there. And let's get a little more. It's so easy to do. You just want to go back and uh, So I'm trying to get this idea of this flaring out like this away from the 
so that it lightens up as you get away, or darkens up as you get away. So this is a good test for you to try to uh, get this nice blended sort of background. See, that's dark in air. Um, pull it down. Yeah, we're getting it. A little better, I think. Under here is just a little bit lighter, not much. Under here it's all sort of blended together. I wouldn't even mess with it. And there's some dark over here. I gotta get back in this area now. I'll leave my brush that I'm trying to keep fairly dry without a lot of paint in it. And I'm going to take my other brush that I've been using and get this dark going down here in this area. So we got a, in here we've got need a little more in here there's a flower or not a flower but a leaf right there. Actually, that is sort of the bowl, I think, that this thing is sitting in here. Yes, it looks like the bowl. It's really hard to see it because this photograph's so dark, um, but there is a bowl with this little leaf sticking, kind of hanging over it. And there's another little leaf in here, right there. So I'm just going to it like that and say that's the bowl. The bowl is sort of rounded up here. It would be, if I were to paint it, it would be a rounded area there. I'm going to lighten it up just a little as I pull back here and put in some gray. Um, this is sort of changing the color. This is more of the tabletop, I think. There's a, it is setting on a table. And uh, I think that's really what's over here on the left side, too. So, uh, Put a little gray there. All right, um, make this bowl get another. There we are. All right, another gray over here. Runs really off of the canvas down there. So that's a table that it's sitting on, and it's in a bowl that I'm gonna probably want to put a highlighter to. Hello from Russia. Oh, thank you. Glad you're here. Welcome. All right, now back here, we're going to get uh, some more of this color in here. Let me see. Another big floral petal here. So I'm just going to continue to fill this out and See if we can uh, get this thing finished here. I need a little more of my liquid to help with that. Um, let's see, there's a petal there. That's actually a flower. Okay, there we go. Put it down, get it done here. Some of these colors, this uh, Lizarin and uh, Grumbacher Violet are really, they have a lot of oil in them, so I don't need a lot of liquid, but some of my, like my black and my Van Dyke Brown don't have a lot of oil in them. Uh, so, okay, I'm about done with this thing here with the uh, background. So I got a couple more, um, couple more uh, strokes to do here with this. Hello Nagar Nagarjun. Nagarjun from India. 
welcome. All right. So this is a little different for me. Normally I'm painting winter scenes and snow and forests and that type of thing and I like to try different types of paintings. I get bored with one type. If all I could do was landscapes, I'd go crazy, I think. So I hope you like some differences too. All right, I've got a lot of nice dark over here. Pretty well covered. The canvas is pretty well covered. Here, I'll make sure I got that covered. All right, so I have a table. I have a little flower vase there. And uh, got my background here. All right. So I think I'm going to continue from dark to light. I've got my... Uh, um, this area here seems to be a little... still needs some attention. There we go, something like that. It's hard to take one stroke and then wipe the brush off. I just can't make myself do that. All right, I think I'm going to stop with that and we'll come back and see if we can get another dark color. The shadow of this uh, flower is um, about as dark as the background. It's got a lot of brown looking color in it. Um, so I'm going to have this contrast now between the uh, um, the background and this light uh, area that's reflected and uh, okay I think I'm going to just continue on with my flat brush it seems to be treating me well dark sienna and uh, some of this here is reflections. I think it actually takes off and goes up more like that, actually. From the photograph, I must have missed that in my drawing. I've got a dark thing here. So my uh, dark sienna and alizarin is what I'm using here with a little bit of Van Dyke. Up here, I think this goes out like that, and there's a something like that. All right, we got a round section here, and. So what I'm painting now is the reflection of this flower on the background. So we're going to paint everything but the flower and we'll do it last. So I'm changing the color up a little bit in here. I don't want it to be all one boring color if I can help it. Um, just see I have a section here that should be background and I left it gray canvas right there. So we'll fix that. It's 
comes back down this way and these flat brushes do help me make nice uh, petals or reflections like that like this Okay, so these are reflections from what's inside the flower. Um, put some more dark on here. And we're gonna come back, got some more dark in here. So these come down like that. Paint around my petals again. A lot of brown, a lot of uh, alizarin, dark, dark, dark colors. I'm primarily using this uh, number 14 Trakel flat brush. Most exclusively on this thing. Okay, so we got a couple, a little change of color in here. A little bit lighter. can even see that it's probably hard to tell that I lightened that color up much okay we got another one comes out here all right um, <clears throat> I just realized another thing I forgot and my forgot to turn on a couple lights here. I've got extra lights that uh, maybe lighten this painting up a little more. Um, <laughs> after being off for two months, they're forgetting what to do. Okay, this is a pedal. It goes back here and starts turning a little bit gray. And yeah, these are a little bit grayer. So it blends with the background there. to be a little wider and darker. There we go. All right. Okay. Um, this table under here comes out more like this let's put him in again okay all right <clears throat> so now we have everything I'm going to get my little round brush out here and see if I can 
fill this area. There's an area right here that I didn't um, fill in in the background. So I'll see if I can get my orangish yellow color here. See if I can come in here and So this is uh, a tracal number four round. All right, <laughs> that's a little bit different color than some of the other colors around it. So maybe I want to try to enhance these other colors so it looks like I don't want it to look like it's just one spot there. I want it to look like it all kind of goes together. And the way you do that is by having the same color all around. Down here. I may want to enhance that a little more even after after the class, but right now I'm going to leave it like that. And uh, I see this. I'm using bright red and a little bit of my cad yellow and some white to get this sort of peach like color. So it just sort of fades out into the other colors here. All right, stop with that. Clean my brush. <clears throat> now I think I'm gonna see if I can get some of these green colors in. I've got a lot of uh, petals in here that I wanna put in. So I'm going to get my uh, that are flat and take up some of my sap green, uh, put a little bit of uh, alizarin in it to sort of gray it down, and maybe a little bit of white to lighten it up a little bit in some areas. So I have a, have a sap green with some alizarin that grays it down with some white that lightens it up. So I have a couple three values right there just that quick. Um, up here, this entire petal oh, it's like this. I've got the yellow in my brush. And Darker back here. No, oh, come on, more green. Okay, so I'm getting some good color there. Okay, so I have a few little darker marks in there that make it look like there's some, that is a, a leaf of some sort. Okay, um, kind of don't like this up here. I'll get that changed. Whoops, too much uh, light in there. Thought I had dark in that brush, but I didn't. It's 
make sure we have that dark enough around that leaf. Take out some of these brush marks if I can. All right. <clears throat> that uh, works pretty well. There's a little bit of a, just a very touch of bright yellow right in here, if I can get that. Get that on my brush. Something like that. It just sort of... All right, that's good enough. It's sort of like the light is hitting it. It's kind of behind the pedal there, and the light's hitting it. Um, down here, we've got another <coughs> green... leaf don't want to mess with it too much Try to make sure I have the canvas covered all right there now we have a couple more over here right in this area here Doing this with sort of a, taking the brush and sort of starting flat back here at the where it comes out from under the pedal and then twisting it as I come down so I can get that little bit of a point on it. Another one right here is a little bit darker, but I'm going to probably leave it light so that it kind of looks more like a leaf to me. All right. <clears throat> That's those two. There's another. This one here is a big one. So let's put him in. How are we doing on time? 43 minutes. Well, we're, we haven't started our big flower yet. Hope you all can stay with me. Let's get this. <clears throat> double load the brush. and pull it out here and then he sort of curves down this way a little bit darker okay pretty decent um, this vase <clears throat> down here I want to put a little highlight on that thing it needs something to make you make you believe that's a vase and right now it doesn't quite do that Let's see if I put a little bit of white on there lighten it up put a little curvature in there maybe that'll make you think that's a vase holding <clears throat> all right at least it looks like it's an object of some kind down there that's different than the gray behind it the table which is what this is Leave it at that. All right, folks, we're moving right along here. Now we got this flower, petals and this flower, and we got a few things inside it. There's a few green uh, things in there, but I'm going to uh, just get into my titanium white here <clears throat> as pure as I can. Um, it needs just a little bit of gray in it in some areas. A little bit of my uh, liquid so that it thins it out just a little. We'll make it go on the canvas much better. Um, I want to get a pretty good pile of this going because we're going to have a lot of this to paint. So let's get it going. And we'll start <coughs> with the 
lightest light, which is probably right in here. Something like that. We'll just put in Okay, titanium white, liquid. It gets uh, darker as it gets out of the light. It gets a little gray back here, but I want this to be really bright and shiny as much as possible. I just use the brush to pull it out. <coughs> Over here we got some that comes down and joins. It's a little grayer in here. I'm gonna just put a light coating of that under there and that some actually using this liquid I can let the canvas show through and I'm picking up some uh, of the gray which I want and need. But I'm going to come back and put a little more gray in it just to force it to be the right color. Okay, over here we got just a little bit of light. And a really bright edge right here. So I'm hitting this, the this brights right now, the whitest whites. And we'll come back and see if we can sculpt them to make them look a little bit more like uh, the petals that they are over here. So bright here, this petal goes this way. White is fairly opaque, um, very opaque actually. Um, when I put the uh, liquid in it, it thins it out and it lets you see through a little bit, see the canvas coming through. some bumps and stuff in here that make it look lighter and darker and shadows and a bright tip right there on the bottom let me get some get a flat brush here which is what I need for this all right that other is going to be gray or off-white Back here we got another bright flower petal and there's some shadow in here so I want to make sure I put the shadow in. There's these things that are sticking up. This little thing here in the middle is sticking up which is making some of that reflection back there. Um, I want to make sure I capture that properly. Just pretty much titanium white. I have a little bit of color in it from uh, the red that was on the palette. I think it's got just a tinge of that in there. I'm just trying to get the places that are definitely white, white. Right here it's white, white. Really bright white there. Has a little fade into gray here. 
some nice bright parts of this petal and then there's some shadowy parts back here picked up a little green there in my brush which I didn't really want all right we're getting there we're getting there there's a big bright part of this petal here be brighter than that okay it's a lot of gray in this so I'm just gonna I'm going to put an underpainting down here and we'll come back with the gray and cover it up. All right, that petal's pretty much done with the white anyway. All right. Now, I'll see if I can make these look a little three dimensional. <laughs> That's going to be a challenge. So I'm going to come back now and pick up a little bit of my Midnight Black as so it makes a nice gray tone and I can get multiple tones with that gray but depending on how much gray I put or how much Midnight Black I put in this mixture. So I think right now I want to try this value. Just pull it down. When I put that Midnight Black with white I get a sort of a violet color a light light violet because it has I'm getting some blue in there I don't want that blue um, down here like this about halfway down need a little more and so I got that white on there, I can actually come back with a darker uh, black in my brush and let it blend, which is what I'm trying to do here. It gives that bit of a three-dimensional look. Come down here like this, like that. Over here we want to blend a few things up this way the rest of that I want it to be really white white okay um, this one behind it here I don't have white on the paper or on the canvas so I'm just going to put in my black and white because this one's in shadow See the, the mid-tone, mid-value of the canvas is telling me that's just about right. It's almost the same exact value as that canvas. So it looks like I'm not putting any paint on it, but I am. You can see I am. Um, pick up a little more white, put a few white streaks in there like that. All right, maybe a little wider here at the bottom. There, something like that. All right, this one over here has got a, just go around these petals and do them one at a time. A little bit of a gray. This there, there's a little bit of indentation here that sort of wants to blend out. There's a, darker blob up in here helps make it look like my white's getting polluted with my black over here on my palette it actually has to be more white in here 
now, something like that, and then we'll use the gray to sort of fill it in. Over here, we've got some dark. So it's getting the kind of texture I want. I'm putting in some heavy paint here, letting it sort of build up. There's a white here. I want some really white. Not quite perfect here, but um, put some curvature on here and make it look like it's the brush strokes can kind of tell you how it uh, how it falls. Just a little more white in here. These are hard to paint, some of these, because of the, the three-dimensionality of trying to make these things look three-dimensional is a bit of a challenge. All right, come back and get me some black now. Midnight black. Let's see if I can feather something in from here, like this. Here up. So I'm trying to get that little bit of a, a shadow to make it look as three dimensional as I can here. There's just a little bit of a white. Ridge. This may look a little better from a distance than it looks close up. Usually I get these things that are that look so kind of have the ugly stage and I think I'm doing it wrong and I sometimes overdo it. So let's see here. All right. Um, this other one up here has got already got a lot of white in it. Um, this has got some really dark shadows, which I think I'm going to put in with my round brush and uh, pull out some of this. Got too much dark black in this brush. I'm going to have to clean it out. Okay, so we're getting a, something that looks like a nice white flower there. I'm going to try if I can blend this a little bit. I take my clean brush, sort of blend it like this. Do the same down here maybe with this one. It gets that. Um, even here. I'm trying to make the brush the way if I were painting over this leaf, I'm trying to make the brush go the way I think the the way it would fall on the, the, the petal here. Okay, this over here has got to have some Stuff in it to darken it down just a little. Well, I guess I don't. I want that to be whiter than that, not darker. In here, I want it to be whiter. We've got a 
interesting white stem there that sticks up of some sort. Pretty much a big brush. This is like a three-eighths of an inch wide brush here. I'm doing this whole thing with, pretty much. Uh, so, all right, let me get my round brush here and see if I can uh, remember this is my brush with white in it. Okay, this round brush and see if I can come in here. I've got some... Uh, I don't know what these things are. They're uh, things that show up in the middle of flowers. I think they're what the flower uses to reseed itself. And here we've got. over here like that all right I'm cleaning this brush out this is my round brush my number uh, four round brush come back and pick up some of this green that goes in here like that Wipe the brush out, get some more paint. If you don't wipe the brush out, you end up with painting back into itself. That's not a good thing to do. Something goes up like that. Probably hard for you to see that, but it looks approximately right here on the canvas. Um, several other things that sort of go up like this. Just going to put them in and uh, I'll paint some white around it so that they stand out a little better. Get my white going here. Here. Getting okay, we got some dark. Here's why I want to get some of these reflections. These are some more reflections of what's here. It's got to come white right down there. Over here, comes down like that. There's another one here. So these are like reflections of these things on the the petals, actually. Um, so it's giving some uh, three dimensionality to the flower itself. And put, I'm missing some white in here. This little round brush is helping a lot right here. Um, that thing has a uh, greenish tint to it. I'm not sure. It's sort of like a bulb of some sort here sitting here like this. And it has a little top on it that sort of has this other color in it. All right, so so I could probably spend a lot more time on this if I wanted to uh, 
get more detailed. Right now I'm just trying to uh, get it to a point where you guys can take off and try to do it yourself. Put a little shadow in here. There's a darker shadow. It goes back there. Let's see if I can hit some of these shadows a little better. They're just places where the the petal. Well, this area here is really uh, not gray enough. A bigger brush. This whole thing here is supposed to really be gray. Ah, anybody, of you, any of you catch that? If you don't have the photo to look at, it's hard to tell. I can't show you the photo on, on my setup here. But I do show you that photo when I re-edit the video and publish it. Okay, there's a, I sort of took out a, a dark thing here that was part of a, there's a darker area here. I'm just kind of coming back, seeing where I missed some areas that can help enhance the three-dimensional out three-dimensionality of it, maybe the realism of it. Um, darker, darker, darker. And even this one up here needs to be darker. Just putting some raw dark sienna on my brush, kind of pulling it into that white. This has got to be blended a little more. All right, <clears throat> I think. Oh, there was a little highlight on that yellow I wanted to put in. And on the yellow on this uh, leaf right here, sort of a yellow highlight that kind of goes across. Let's see if I can capture that. It helps give this this leaf a little bit of looks like it's curving down. That's the idea. Just put a little bit on there. I think we're about done here, folks. Um, could go back and put a little more dark in there um, in some areas. Um, but I think, I think it's pretty close to what I wanted to uh, demonstrate today. Um, Bit of highlight there. <clears throat> Grays here. Where else can I do something? I think probably maybe some abstract things back here to kind of change the. It's not such a big area that's all one color back there. I don't like to do that. I like to uh, change it up so we don't have. Um, one big color everywhere. So I think that's probably about enough. We've been going about an hour, hour and 11 minutes. Um, that's not bad. Um, see if I can find a place to put my signature here. Hope you guys give this a try and uh, they said the sketches, the reference photo, 
the uh, value map. It's all out on my website already and uh, should have a link below this video you're watching and uh, should be able to go out and get them and uh, give it a try. So that's pretty close. I'm going to uh, oops, take off my uh, okay. And I'm going to zoom back. That's pretty close. The colors are slightly off. I didn't have the right color of orange back here in the back, but uh, I could have made that if I'd spent a bunch of time on it, but I didn't want to uh, bore you with me trying to get that exact color. So uh, I think this will do. And uh, um, make sure you check out my uh, Facebook page. Uh, check out Trekel, Trekel brushes if you like those. Uh, go to my website, get the uh, sketch, get the uh, value map, and uh, the sketch will help you get this on canvas uh, or paper if you want to try it with uh, watercolor. Uh, but uh, it's fun painting to do. It's got some interesting uh, dimension to it in terms of the, the, sh the shadows and reflections and that sort of thing. And so that's always uh, something that's fun to challenge yourself with. So uh, I think that's all I want to tell you now. And uh, so until I see you again, this is Larry Hamilton saying uh, so long for now. Bye-bye.